Welcome back to another episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to make a vegetable stock that will easily replace a beef or chicken stock. You can find this recipe and a lot more at the Fat Vegan Chef. If you liked this video, please consider going to the Fat Vegan Chef and clicking on the donate button to find out how you can help support us so we can continue making more videos for you. Are you ready? Let's get started. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a couple of hatch sheet pans or baking pans, a couple of uh, stock pans, and either a fine mesh china cap or a strainer with cheesecloth. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are two large red onions that's been quartered, one leek that's been quartered and washed thoroughly, two cups of cremini mushrooms, two large carrots that's been washed and thirded, you'll need uh, ten stalks of celery that's been washed and thirded, eight Roma tomatoes, one half cup of garlic cloves that's been peeled, you'll need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, you'll need a a teaspoon of sea salt, a teaspoon of whole grains of paradise or black peppercorns. You'll need one gallon of cold water, several sprigs of fresh thyme, several sprigs of fresh parsley, and two bay leaves, either dry or fresh. The first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your oven is preheated, go ahead and take your extra virgin olive oil and drizzle it on your vegetables. It doesn't have to be completely coated. Just drizzle it on there so you get at least a little bit of all the vegetables there. And just like that, that looks good. And now that our oven is preheated, what we'll do is we'll put this in the oven and let it roast for 30 minutes and we're going to flip them and rotate about halfway through. So after 15 minutes we'll go ahead and flip them. All of our vegetables are now roasted off, so what we'll do is put them into a stock pot that will hold at least a gallon and a half of water. The bigger the better in this case. And you also want to include any liquid that may have been on the bottom as well. Now that we have everything from both pans in the stock pot, we will add our aromatics and that's two bay leaves, one teaspoon of whole black pepper or pepperoncini corns, teaspoon of salt, a couple sprigs of thyme, and a couple sprigs of parsley. 
And now what we'll do is we'll add one gallon of cold water. And the water does need to be cold. Now what we'll do is we'll take this to the stove. We'll bring this up to a boil. Then we'll bring it down to a simmer. And we will let it cook for half an hour on the stove. Now what we'll do is we will take our cooked vegetable stock and we will start to strain it into another pot. And this you want to do through either some cheesecloth or a fine mesh china cap. And we'll get most of it this way. And then once we have most of it drained, then we'll go ahead and do the messy work. We've got most of the good stuff drained here. So now we'll go ahead and do the messy work. And you want to be very careful because these ingredients are still very hot. Just carefully get it in here and we'll let this sit and drain for a good half an hour to an hour and then after that we will refrigerate it and I will see you after it's been cooled. Our vegetable stock has been refrigerated and this is what it's going to look like when it's done. You can use this in any recipe um, that requires vegetable stock or beef stock or chicken stock Again, this is a since the vegetables are roasted, it is going to have more of that meaty flavor that would be in a beef or a chicken stock. So you can use this recipe accordingly. It does make about a gallon worth of stock. Uh, thank you very much for watching another video at thefatveganchef.com. You can find the recipe and more at the Fat Vegan Chef. You can also find ways to support this project as well. If there is a recipe, tip, or technique that you would like for us to cover, you can find a form at the Fat Vegan Chef where you can send in your requests. Please share this video and website with your friends and family. Thank you and have a good day.